Afternoon VC, Aris here. Two, two videos in less than a month. I'm, I'm banging out more videos than a porn star on overtime. It's, it's insanity. But uh, speaking of porn stars, don't forget the link to my OnlyFans in the comments. Uh, spoiler alert, this month I will be showing my glow in the dark 12 incher. But uh, that is neon lights by Craftwork. You've got to power it up with a torch apparently. And uh, I only ask you to bring your own batteries. Keep them peeled for that. Um, Vinyl finds this month, charity shop, rental fair, you name it, we're doing it. Weird thing happened, and this seems to happen to me quite a lot now when I say stuff in the VC. JT's record and cassettes, JT, what a gent he is. He showed his UK haul video this month, and he showed Dr. Feelgood's um, Malpractice video, um, album. And I commented, said, I love that album, love it. I said, I'm desperate to find a copy of Down by the Jetty by Dr. Feelgood in mono. I went to Eric's Records today. Boom. Dr. Feelgood, down by the jetty. Mono, first press. 20, 20 quid. I'll take that. The, uh, the price to crowd is kind of, um, honestly, how do, they, how do they do that? But I think, I've watched a Madam Sin video once. You, you can get these off in light if you I just adore, I mean, I love this album. I've played it three times in the last hour and a half. The amazing, Lee Brillo, who always looks like a, an angry car salesman to me, Lee Brillo. And the incredible Wilco Johnson, the, 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 one of the greatest guitar players of all time. He was, he was influenced by, he was obsessed by Mick Green from uh, Johnny Kidd and the Pirates. In fact, he befriended him in the end, I think. And uh, if you want to see an amazing YouTube video, just, just search Wilco Johnson's Demonstrates Guitar Technique. He sort of plays a, he plays a Telecaster or Stratocaster, I think. He was in a very choppy style. And he sort of plays rhythm and lead with the, with the same, very, with, with just one hand. I don't know how he does it. It's a marvellous video. It's about five minutes long and he's, he's hilarious as well. Sadly passed away now, we'll go. And Lee passed away in 92, I think. But incredible, I love this album. It's so influenced sort of by Chuck Berry, Rolling Stones' first album. It's about half an hour, 12, 14 songs. It's as catchy as hell. It's so addictive, this album. I can't stop playing the damn thing. Steve Albini, another one that he loved. He loved it because I think he liked the minimal production style. They, they don't mess about. I think... I think it was almost recorded live in the studio with no overdubs. It's incredible. I, I just love this album. I'm so thrilled to find it. You could get it everywhere for about £7 until about 10 years ago. But now, so 20 quid, sleeves beat up. I'll take it. Goes for about 50, 60 quid now. This is it's insanity. But yeah, Down by the Jetty by Dr. Feelgood. Also from Eric's today. I haven't played it yet. Jesus and Mary Chain, some candy talking EP. Some Candy Talking wasn't on Psycho Candy. It's where all the Jesus and Mary Chains sort of um, Velvet Underground meets the Shangri-Las meets Phil Spector fantasies come alive. Also got Taste of Cindy, which was on the debut, I think. But I think this is the acoustic version. I haven't played it yet. Um, it's got Hit, which is kind of a hard going, but kind of all right. And it's got Psycho Candy, the song, which wasn't on Psycho Candy. My memory, if memory serves, Psycho Candy is a pretty decent tune. But again, I haven't played this yet. So, uh, but yeah, pretty chuffed to get this. Next up, Record Fair, two weeks ago. Um, the Smiths. Last night I dreamt that somebody loved me. The, the last single they put out while they were still kind of going, I think it was put out three months after they split, limped to number 29 in the UK charts, UK Top 40. Um, Morrissey and Ma, they reckon it's their best ever song. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a good song. It's a bad, I mean, it's a full-on ballad. Um, with a, the, the intro is two minutes of, of, of um, the sound of, from the minor strike in Britain. Um, that's, what that, that's what that noise is that leads in, two minutes. Um, I was quite excited about this because it had two Pilver session versions on the flip of two of my favourite Smith songs, Walsh and Ruffians, which rips off Elvis's Marie's The Name of as, um, His Latest Flame, and Nowhere Fast, which I think is the, should have been the single off Me It's Murder. I thought, oh, great, the Pill Session versions always sound better than the originals. On this occasion, they don't. And, uh, yeah, but really pleased to find this. Hard, tough one to find this. I think because they, they were running out of gas and the record company, Rough Trade, had given up on them, really, by now. And they, they, they'd, they'd, they'd been a bit of a hoo-ha. And uh, so I thought Rough Trade were putting minimal effort in. I think there was only about eight different editions of this. I don't think they released it in America. And, yeah, so, yeah, really pleased, really pleased to find this. From the same seller... Bizarre Love Triangle 12 inch. Um, or tough to find this one. I think it's because a lot of kids on YouTube do acoustic versions of Bizarre Love Triangle. Uh, so I think uh, that kids are often looking for it and it's hiked the price up. I mean, I love Bizarre. I think Bizarre Triangle could be their greatest single or maybe Perfect Kiss or maybe Regret or maybe Everything's Gone Green. 
I'm not sure. It, it's it's going to be one of those four for me. But uh, or maybe ceremony. I mean, good God, no, it's hard in it. But um, yeah, I love this 12 inch. And uh, the be there's a better version that came out about 2015, 10, 15 years ago. The Richard X remix, which is bloody hard to find, of Bizarre Love Triangle. Um, which is the version that New Order play now live. They play the Richard X remix version live, which is wonderful. I, I prefer it to that. And I love this. This is like the nine minute version. This is way, because the album version of Bizarre Love Triangle is four minutes. So it's just, it's no good. It's like, um, yeah, it's just not happening. It's not happening. But uh, yeah, so thrilled to get this. Not, not my favourite Peter Savile sleeve, this. But uh, yeah. I didn't like this period, although I love the Brotherhood sleeve, which is kind of the same as this, but blue. But yeah, wonderful stuff, this. Bizarre Love Triangle, New Order. I bought this from a, a record shop in by Botley Mill, and I cannot remember what the damn record shop's called. 12-inch <laughs> Chemical Brothers, Let Forever Be, which when when it came out in 99, I didn't used to like, really. I, didn't, I, I thought Chemical Brothers were a bit naff. I, I thought I was a little bit too hip. Um, my, my dance stuff, I was I was heading to Detroit and Berlin and going for sort of, sort of these obscure tracks. I start, I'm start i starting to love this stuff now. And it, again, it sounds incredible on a 12-inch. And this has got Noel Gallagher on it, obviously. And it's it's their attempt at a mixture of um, the Beatles' more psychedelic era with, with kind of a ra the, the Beatles' rain bass line. And this sounds phenomenal on a 12-inch. It really does. And it's it's got that sort of intro, that... Backwards, and oh, it's just this is killer, man. I've I've played this about ten times. It's absolute monster. And it also, it's got an instrumental called the Diamond Sky. On man, that's solid. But yeah, this is so good. I cannot stop playing this damn thing. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, the Chemical Brothers. Let forever be. Taxi Driver FM. You've hit middle age. You're single, you're a little bit sad. Who can I be? Who can I be referring to? Not sure. <laughs> you're going out to your favourite nightclub. You're on the pool. You're on the pool. You get your favourite nightclub, Manhattan's. Yeah, Manhattan's, the club that never sleeps. Last orders at eleven. Hey, how does that work? You, you're there. You're wearing your favourite beige chinos. Nothing can go wrong. It's grab a granny night. You just grab. You're on the dance floor. You've locked eyes. You've locked eyes with someone. It's it. You're living the dream. You quickly disappear for a slash. Oh my God. The common problem with anyone late middle age, we, we, you've dribbled, you've dribbled on your beige chinos. Oh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? We've all been there. You've, yeah, I can make this better. You splash a load of water on thinking I'm going to tell everyone that I was washing my hands and uh, you know, and, uh, no, it's not work. Now it looks like you've just completely pissed yourself. You've come out, the bouncers have clocked it. They're not happy. It's not your night, son. Oh, and your shoes are too casual. You're off. They've let you go. It's the end of the night. You're in the taxi. You're in the taxi. You feel you're distraught. How are you going to explain this at work on Monday? The only way... The, the taxi driver's got Taxi Driver FM on. The only thing that can save tonight in your pit of despair is more than words by extreme. <laughs> oh, no, gonna, what would I do? If my chinos had been blue, more than well now. Oh God, this is this is exactly the sort of nonsense that came out in UK. I mean, I love this track, but this come to get in the charts in UK, you had to sell product. This comes with the uh, it's the uh, US tour laminate and the Francis sticker. It's all in it. Absolute nonsense. I love this track. Also contains mother, spell M U T H. Don't want to go to school today. I've listened to that. It's 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 the low point of music, not just for extreme, for all music. It's horrific. I'm assuming this is the Canadian pressing because they spelled collector with two L's. What's going on? <laughs> they can't even spell collector right. Probably worth a fortune this, but uh, yeah, wonderful stuff. Comes in a little flip up. Lovely. Get you, you got your laminate. You, it's all whistles and bells. It's marvelous. I can't stop playing it. It's wonderful. All the other tracks. Sound like the end of humanity, to be honest, but <laughs> oh god. More charity shop buyers. The R and B I'm I'm a big fan of late nineties, early two thousands R and B. Stuff like Timberland, Pharrell Nerd production. I can't I can't think of anyone else in the VC who is a big fan. I think John the Six Inch Penis is a bit of a sucker for Timberland. Oh, little Kim's the jump off. <laughs> 
love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Showed this on my community chat. 49 pence. This was Pharrell and Nerd. Pharrell doing this one. Khal Khaleesi's Get Along With You. On the album Wonderland, an amazing ballad with like a, a, a kick drum, which would do give John Bonham's face go red. It's amazing. 49 pence. This is the... This is the Bump and Flex UK Garage remix, and it's wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Less than a pound. And I love this. I love it. The 12 inch of Lenny Kravitz is It Ain't Over Till It's Over. A thing of wonder. <laughs> just now, to think. I ate Lenny Kravitz, by the way. But uh, yeah, just. And he, he, he got married to that girl off the Cosby show, didn't, I? didn't she? It was as hot as hell when I was about 14. She was my, she was my dream. I, thought, I can't remember her name. But yeah, so chuffed to get this. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. <laughs> and uh, I also got Goldie's Inner City Live 12 inch, the, uh, the single that broke out Jungle. And this is the, um, this is the Four Hero remix. And this is wonderful. This, is, this was the end of drum and bass for me. It started to get a bit serious. They started calling it intelligent drum and bass, which is always a red flag. But uh, yeah, this is, this is just superb, the superb stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching. Let's see if I can keep up the uh, insane work rate and I'll see you all soon. Take care, everyone.